So yes, we are live right now. So good evening, Mr. Ion and Nilofa. Yes. Uh, thank you very much for joining. Good evening, sir. Yeah. So dear students, those who are going to watch on YouTube. So it is a great opportunity for everybody to learn something new today. Just like we come live for all of you. And today I have invited one of my friends. He's also an English trainer. And he has been working in the industry of teaching for long. And he has his own you know, institute called English at Workplace. English at Workplace. And also he has taught thousands of students with his skills. And today he is going to share his knowledge. And also he is going to give you tips to master spoken English in a very simple way. So while without getting late, let me welcome Mr. Ayan. Ayan. Welcome to this particular session today. And a lot of my students are waiting here to learn something from you. So first, would you like to introduce yourself in your own words so that they would get to know who you are? Yeah. Thank you so much once again, Mr. Mello, for giving me this kind of amazing platform. Because you know, literally, I'm fond of sharing my knowledge. I'm fond of you know, literally providing different kind of things, especially for my learners. So this is going to be an amazing platform because now we can have a word with each other. We can interact with the new learners and also we will try to resolve the problems pertaining to the spoken English and a lot more things. So coming to the context, if I talk about myself, so hey everyone, how are we doing? I believe you must be doing really fantastic. It's a Ventura and Sheikh, a spoken English expert, voice and accent coach and the founder of English at Workplace. And basically, I train my students, working professionals, and employees in order to enhance their communication skill, spoken English, along with their voice and accent. It means the pronunciation part. And amazing, this is going to be a out aristocratic moment because we are having live over here and Mr. Manu because I went through his profile and he's he has been working painstakingly around the clock in order to change, in order to bring about an amazing change, especially because. He visits in a new cities, a new college and schools. And actually, literally, I went through so many videos which you are providing, which you are, you know, so many sessions which you are giving for free, right? So this is incredible. And I would literally appreciate it from the bottom of my heart because you deserve to be appreciated, Mr. Mello. And uh, great, because uh, I literally love the way you speak, the love the way, you know, like literally providing a kind of a new content, energy, inspiration, motivation. And I would say also you are trying to resolve as much as possible from your end. And also you love to take the concern almost today, or I would say uh, I went through your five to six videos. Okay. And in every video, I got something new, something amazing and something inspiring. So thank you so much for inviting me over here. Yes, of course. So thank you, Ayan, for your good words. Even I have to tell you that I just called you for one reason. The reason is that I failed to improve my accent, by the way. When I saw when you were doing classes with the students that I was completely impressed with them, you know, particular, you know, issue with the accent, you have improved a lot, by the way. So I thought on that very day that why should I not invite this particular person so that he could also tell something about this particular, you know, techniques of improving that accent also. Our students would love to know all these things because I have been teaching something what I know, but so many things that I do not know, which you know. And so right. many things that I know, maybe you do not know. So this is all right. about, you know, sharing knowledge from each other so that we can learn and grow together. So I am, I'm so happy and I'm so glad and also feel proud that you accepted and today you are live with me and with Nilofa. So a lot of people are watching right now. Ria Das, uh, Manikan Singh, Sishodia, Daisy Nath, Shailish Kumar. I think your students are also here. Deepul right. Vishwas, Payal Sitradhar. So thank you very much for joining. And Ayan, please say hi to all those people. You know, they would love to join your session and they will love to be there with you. Say hi Wait, once. Hey, hey guys, just type hi for me, right? Because your Ayan sir is here. And of course, Mr. Manu is here. And today we're going to have an amazing session together. So just type hi for me and just type, are you excited, guys? Just type EX for me. Just type EX for me. Come on, come on, do it fast. Okay. Right. Okay, till then, Nilofa. How do you just welcome our, you know, friend plus trainer, Ayan Sheikh, as you are a student? He's also teaching a lot of people, a lot of students. You are also one of my students. So how do you just welcome? And Ayan, actually, I have kept her so that she would also learn how to conduct things and how to just go with this kind of things. Because 
they have to take uh, take the legacy, you know, to the next level in the future. And that's why she's also here with me. So Nilofo, it's time for you to welcome from your side. So yes, uh, once again, hello, sir, and welcome to this platform. And yeah, today I'm so happy to be here and I'm talking to a new person I did not know before. But yes, I think I would get to learn so many things from you. So we should meet people, we should explore things. And uh, this is the best way to learn something. So thank you so much once again for joining. And yes, thank you. Right. Thanks so much. So I think a lot of people are writing yes or yes. Okay, fine. So thank you, Arupa. Thank you. For, so a lot of people are here. Okay, then I am. So a lot of people would be there and they would just love to go with us. So first question from my side to you, by the way. Yeah. So I, am, I ask all the people normally, I invited a lot of people right from different industries, just like, you know, one person that I invited, he's called, he's called Pritam Talukdar. And later on, now he becomes the mentor for this community because we have very less numbers of trainers and those people who know they are not interested in teaching people and those who do not know they're interested but they do not have the knowledge so i felt that if i can invite people from different you know in industries what they know they could share at least thousands of people if you connect at least 100 people would come for example i try a lot of people every day but i get one or two people who are interested who are like-minded just like you I, I also, you know, knocked at the door, but you came here, you know, accepting. So this kind of people are there always trying to help people out. So today, the industry that you were, here, that you were today means there, there, is, there is a cause, there may be a reason for which you were here today. So what inspired or what motivated you to be the trainer of English today? You could have, you know, become some other, you know, trainers. You could have chosen other professions, but why English okay, trainer? Great. So uh, this is a very, I uh, would say, amazing question for me. So thank you so much, Bob. And I would say, in order to give the answer to this question, I would try to slide the curtain towards my past scenario when I was learning, when I was a kid, especially. And there was English teacher, and I did not, uh, I didn't know anything. That, I would say the ABC of English, right? The moment I still remember, there was one time when I was really curious to learn to to learn how to speak in English. Okay. So what I did, I bought a book. I read completely the, all the concepts, grammatical aspects, vocabulary, every single sentence. Then I filed my name for the speech of Independence Day. The moment I was called over there, I was, I was so excited, right? I was literally excited because I was about to give the speech first time on the stage. The moment I was called over there, I went ahead on the stage. I started giving my, I would say, speech. It was just like a... Uh, ha hello everyone, and uh, uh, like so today, today I'm gonna I'm gonna give a kind of a blank. Again, I started like, hey everyone, my name is Ayan Sheikh, and uh, and today is Independence Day, and I'm gonna give give a speech. Blank, two times, three times, four times, again and again. Eventually, the anchor told me, clap for Ayan Sheikh, guys, clap for everybody. Started clapping, and that was the embarrassing moment for me. Even a friend started laughing at me and say, hey, it's just not all about the having a cup of tea for you. I said, I don't try to be so smart. Don't try to be angry. Okay, even the same statement was given by my, by my trainer, I would say. He wasn't a trainer. He was an English teacher, I would say. And since he belonged to the locality, so it was a kind of very embarrassing moment for me. Then and there, I decided, now, up to karma ages, okay? Because the... Uh, because it was just like penetrated inside, not inside like in my heart, but also it collapsed with my inner thought feeling. And from there onwards, I got to know that what is the wrong method of English and what is the right approach of learning English. And from there onwards, my journey started. No, okay. So but it... Yeah. Yeah, it's so interesting. And I all, I know one thing that when people face problems, then they try to find out the solutions. Yeah, so right. the case is also with me, you know, in the same way that I also started. When I, I was there in the stage that I could not, you know, bring any other words than only thank you. I got only one expression. Yeah. I tried, I felt that I would speak, but later on only one expression that I had in my mind. Thank you very much. Nothing else. So that time that I felt okay, that I have to study. And also I was humiliated, by the way. 
ones yeah. that I would like to share, where I normally share with my friends, sexually students also, that in first year, maybe when I was there, I did not know how to ask a question. So I went to the teacher in the college and the teacher that I asked in Asmis, the like, can I move a question to the book? In Asmis, I want to ask a question. Then the <laughs> lady teacher told me that, okay, I would like to ask a question. This is the way you can ask. But simply, I just said, okay, fine. Then teacher also told, simply asking is not enough. You have to practice. practice. I said, okay, I'll practice. I just kept in my mind that I will practice. When the same teacher came to the class and after the class is over, then lady teacher asked me, asked, you know, all the teacher students that do you have any question? Then I quickly, you know, stood up and asked, I would like to ask a question, ma'am. Then she replied something like, Okay, tell me what kind of questions they would like to ask. That means she continuously, started, you know, talking to me. But I had no reply because I only knew only one sentence. Like, mm -hmm. I want to ask her. I would like to ask a question. Then I felt that, okay, after that, I, how should I reply that I didn't know about it? Then I got, went blank and people called me. You know, you know that already how people, student, mother, fellow friends humiliated at the time. But today I'm so happy that those people who humiliated at the time, they are the learners and they, today they join as a student and I teach them after, you know, a few years. So this started, actually, this helped me to be a trainer today. And also that incident that you shared, that is the inspiration for you also for which you are here today. Okay, Ayan, you are doing fantastic jobs that I have seen in restaurants somewhere. You went with your students and you were giving training to them in that place also. That's so innovative idea that you are using. So I have so many questions and you have to answer. But before that, let me bring Nilofo. Nilofo. Nilofo, can you hear me? Yes, sir. So as a student, you also have so many questions which I can't answer. Like excellent part, like, you know, corporate training. I don't have the experience, but as Ion is here, so you can ask any questions. So he is ready to answer. And also those people who are watching on YouTube, you also type your questions. If you want to ask anything related to spoken English, accent, part, corporate training, whatever you want to know, communications, you can ask your questions. Ayan is ready to answer your queries, okay? And this time for Nilofo. Go ahead, Lord, so that I can share the link, you know, in my Facebook, okay? Just in a minute, I'll just do it. Nilofo, just go ahead, please. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. So, yes, uh, I have also started the journey of speaking in English and I have recorded videos. And yeah, uh, Moinul sir always uh, puts us in a uh, in an uncomfortable zone. And yeah, I I uh, nowadays I love to be in uncomfortable zone because uh, in comfort zone we can't grow. So uh, I have seen students or I have seen my juniors like uh, they have started doing the same and they want uh, uh, you know solution in a day. So uh, how do you? uh what uh, would you want to say to those people like uh, they are complaining like yeah we are not uh, improving so i think uh, it is not possible in a day or in a month so sir uh, your like advice you know i would love to take your question up here because i would say since i have been in the industry for a long time so what i have realized is that you know this language is very much i would say aristocratic it means you know everybody of every second person is supposed to be speaking english okay every second person is really curious to speak in english but thing is that we need to understand because if you're trying to understand if you're trying to take this language okay as a subject if you would be a student and if you're a student we are not supposed to be doing it you know in a hurry because if we need to complete our matriculation we must have given like 10 years of time. If you're supposed to be completing our graduation, we must have given like 15 years of time, okay? So if we are, if we are treating this language as a subject, so we would become a student. And if we are a student, so we should not be doing hurry in order to learn this language. Second thing, first of all, this is a not a language, I would say subject, it's a language. And uh, if you talk about the native language, if you talk about any native language, like, a, like a Hindi, Urdu, Arabi, Parsi, Assami, whatever it is. So it at least took two to three years of time, right? Listening, imitating, practice, listening, imitating, and practice over and over again. And only then and there, we learn how to speak Papa and Mommy. This was the process. Similarly, if you try to compare 
okay, when we start learning English. So it would be taking some time, right? Just because this is a gradual process. Nobody can learn it overnight. This is not all about the cup of you know, coffee and something like you go ahead, order it and just have it and you will start speaking English. No, this is a gradual process. It's a language. Now, if we talk about from where do we need to start? So there has to be, you know, everything has a base, I would say, okay? Because, you know, in India, what happens, majority of the people understand English, they listen English, and they read English. But the thing is that they can't speak in English. And the reason is, actually, they are not, I would say, habit of speaking all the time. But when it comes to the Hindi, did we attend any kind of session how to speak in Hindi? Of course not. Did you pay any single money how to learn Assami? Of course not. And the reason is, this is our native language. This is your native language. My native language is I would say Hindi or the local language. Okay, local tongue. And you know, how did I learn it? The answer would be like just listening, practicing, listening, practicing the same thing. So if in this case, we, we are considering that this is a gradual process and it will take some time. So why are we trying to compare, especially in English? The people get frustrated. The people are getting nervous, especially if somebody is calling them in front of the stage to speak something. The people are, I would say, they have a habit of being judged. What will happen if I make some mistakes? What will happen if I go wrong? Just because they want to speak Hindi, but not in a correct way. It's absolutely fine if I'm making a mistake in Hindi. It's absolutely fine if you're making some mistakes while speaking Assami. But what will happen? If you are being called on the stage in order to speak something in English, especially there, you will have so many things. I have to speak, but I have to speak in a correct grammar portion. I have to speak, but I have to speak in a fluency. I have to have my like the right amount of, well, I would say, the vocabulary part, pronunciation, accent, a lot more things. So English now is, is become, I would say, has become a language of being judged people in some cases. But apart from that, if you're treating it as a language, it's going to be very, very easy for us to speak. I hope I get the answer. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you so much, sir. And yes, we all have this phobia of public speaking or we have stage fright. So I used to uh, be nervous. But uh, nowadays, as I have been practicing, so I'm practicing uh, this art of public speaking and I'm recording videos. And most of us studied in SMS school. So we always feel nervous whenever we speak in English. We feel that, yeah, we will make mistake and people would laugh at us. But um, I have overcome this uh, uh, shortcoming, I would say, uh, in this environment, in this community. So this community is very supportive. And uh, we actually have created, like, we will not judge people. And Sir has actually, Sir has given us that mindset that, yes, uh, we will make mistakes, but uh, it is the only way through which we can improve. So I think your session would help us to go further. So yes, sir, thank you so much. And uh, let me see if somebody asked any question in YouTube. So yeah, uh, many people are saying hi. So Dipshika, uh, Tina, Gorima, uh, right now I think seven more than 17 people are watching. So yeah, it's a good thing, I guess. And after a long time, we are conducting this session. And uh, I would like to thank Moinul sir for this session and also um, I'm very excited and I'm so happy that I'm talking to somebody and uh, yes, uh, we did not, like we are not meeting physically or we don't know each other, but right now it feels like, yes, we are in the same family and we will learn something and yeah, so I'm so happy. Uh, I so think Sarah is sharing the link. Yeah, we will be, as China, we will be taking questions from the new learners, I believe that would be much better in order to have a healthy conversation. That would be great, okay. Yes. So yeah, I request all the participants uh, to ask something. You can put your questions and sir will answer. Yeah, very true. Yes, guys, if you have any question, feel free, just go ahead, raise your hand. Not raise your hand, just start typing your questions in the comment box. That would be yes, much sir. better, okay? Yes, I think we have one question. Uh, Prabhat, perfect public speaker. How to increase thinking power? How to increase thinking power? Yes, Mr. Prabhat. 
So what happens generally, you know, thinking has different variation, I would say. Because if you're trying to recall the written words, it should be in a quite different way. Because what happens, especially if you try to relate this concept with the public speaking pattern, okay? So here, when we practice, when I teach public speaking, say specifically, I make them understand, right? That the, uh, I would say 90 minutes formula, whatever you are trying to portray on the stage. So first 30 minutes should be in a such a way that practice session in a such a way that you would be feeling like comfortable. That should be a comfort zone. And second 30 minutes would be in such a way that it would become your confidence zone. And third 30 minutes, it would be like a, if you practice third times, so it would become like a perfect. So first, like a comfort, confident, and perfect. Now, so this should be the sequence in order to recall any content, okay, or any topic in order to deliver on the stage, especially in the form of public speaking. Now, coming back to the question of Mr. Prabhat Perfect, I would say, right? Thinking process is all about observing. Okay, if I try, if I give you an example, like our brain has a capacity to learn something in the format of image. We can't learn words. We can't learn exact like a, okay. If I say if I uh, tell you the spelling like a p p l e, what kind of image do you get inside of mind? There will be like big red apple. Okay, you would not be thinking about the a p p l e something different. So what happens if you try to recall anything? It's better, it, it would be quite better if you try to have image with regard to that particular word. We can increase the thinking process. We can learn so quickly. I hope I give the answer. Oh, thank you, sir. Okay, if... Okay, okay. Uh, I have to beg again, by the way, nowadays the internet, you know, connection, <laughs> connectivity is getting slower. So we are using fiber BSNL, by the way. So mm -hmm. earlier, if I compare to the earlier times, nowadays it's getting a little slower. So anyway, Ayan, you were answering so well, and I just think the students are loving and also you have a lot of knowledge in this field there. So they must be, you know, happy with your answers. So I have a lot of questions that I have seen from the people. They're asking yeah. you questions. So let me take another question. So thank you, Nilevar, also. The way that you are talking to Ayan, I think that it is helping you to be confident in the future. As a student, yeah. you are doing a very great job, by the way. Ayan, what do you say? Very confident, I would say. Very confident. Okay. I literally appreciate Ms. Nilevar. So okay. So by the way, she has recorded, do you know, how many videos that you have recorded, Nilofo? I think more than 300. Oh, right. Mm, okay. So, Ayan, okay, let me take another question. A lot of people are here. So, thank you, everybody, those who are watching right now. Thank you, those who are saying good evening, hi. So, now the question that I'm going to take from Onupama Oza, okay? Okay, Kitu, thank you. Kitu, Kitu is saying that Ayan, sir, is the best trainer, absolutely. So Ayan, say something to Kitu, by the way. Yeah. Thank you, Kitu, for you know giving your amazing words. And uh, I believe that in today's session, I would be giving a lot more information, a lot of content, a lot of values, especially would be loving to make you a fluent speaker. That would be my effort for sure. Thank you. Okay, so also that we are getting a lot of things. So first of all, let me thank all those people who are watching that I just would like to take the names. Ria, Monikan, Daisy, Shelley, Bipul, Payal, and Dhru, Dhrubozoti, Afroz, Bipul, Bishwas, Urupa, and then also Nandini, Kaumakar, Urupa, Nurislamik, Ananya, Anupama, Hamid, Raz, Gorima, Ria, Pravat, Dipsika, Kitu, Tina, and so many Anupama. Then Bish, thank you very much. Please try to like, hit the like button also if you are new. Try to subscribe the channel also so that you would get updates in the future. So, okay, then now question that I'm going to take from Anupa Mauza. Hello, sir. I wanted to know that, know that does accent always matter while speaking English? I'm a student coming from an Assamese medium background. So somehow I have that Assamese accent when I speak English. So I have your question from Anupa mm -hmm. That Have yeah. you got a question? Yeah, exactly. So, okay, go um, ahead, please. Literally. Uh, that would be great. So what happens, you know, accent is a different thing and pronunciation is quite different, right? Pronunciation is all about the articulation of right word with the correct syllable stress and the pattern. What will happen? If I give you the example, okay? Like people say photography. I love photography. 
But correct pronunciation would be photography. People say cinematography, it should be cinematography. People say I am a student of biology, it should be biology. So this is, you know, if you say biology, this would be the correct pronunciation. But accent is quite different, okay? Because in this way, when I teach people, so we call it MTI, that's called mother tongue influence, okay? It doesn't matter whatever the language we're speaking right at the moment, but still you would be having a kind of mother tongue influence, especially we Indian have R, okay? Like uh, Rabinder or uh, like uh, Rockstar or Romeo, so we are, and the reason is we learned Kalkhaga and there we have R, Ya, Ra, La. So the same R is being imposed in English, but actually there is not R in English. It should be R, like rocket, and let's say roll, room, let's say royal, similarly. So I would like to you know, make you understand the accent is quite different thing and pronunciation is quite different. But your question is, does really accent matters in something like that, okay? So of course, if you try to learn, the accent, there has to be neutral accent because if you're trying to communicate with the foreign clients, okay? And if they are understanding only the American one or the British one, so it all up to you. And if you are, I would say, if you are to communicate with the foreign clients, especially they belong to the foreign countries. So here you are supposed to be speaking with that accent, okay? But if you're working in a call center, that is a domestic call center. So no, you know, uh, accent doesn't matter at all. Okay, but specifically, I would recommend you guys don't go with the American accent, don't go with the British accent, just try to have the neutral accent that's called global accent. So, wherever you go in the world, either, either Chiefs, you know, Scotland, England, America, anywhere, okay, so people would be understanding you even in a much better way, of course, than the any particular like any particular accent, like American or British, right? Absolutely, yeah. I hope I just think that you got your answer by the way. When I also think uh, the accent, you know, we should not worry, you know, get worried for the accent because sometimes even we, you know, sound like British or Americans. So it would be unnatural completely in this locality sometimes. Yeah. Okay, people love normally. So better we should go with our, you know, Indian accent that we have, just like we follow some people. Uh, normally, yeah. that I just try to follow one of my gurus. You also must be aware of that, Prabin Madalkar. Just like yeah. the way he is speaking, he can express effectively. And also today, the person who failed in class nine is the trainer for more than, you know, millions of people. Yeah. And he has founded his own company. So I have been also learning and using his course for my students. That means cool. I also shared something with him. And sir understands, sir knows about, and also he shared uh, some of the very costlier courses for completely yeah. free of cost he, for our students. He teaches, he gives the tricks, tools, and technicalities pertaining to the communication skill along with the public speaking, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And I literally, I literally agree with the statement which is given by him in any of his sessions. That was communication is all about sharing your thoughts, emotion, ideas in a such a design manner so that people right. will get connected throughout your words and they will feel the same essence which you are having inside your heart and mind. You're right. But it, recently, it, you know, here, language doesn't matter. Accent yeah, doesn't absolutely. matter. Absolutely. Community absolutely. doesn't matter. Of course. So this is literally, I believe. Yeah. And the I person, do you know, that after 30, he started learning grammar. And once he is using something like, I can able to do it, that I said, sir, you are perfect. But if you try to learn that can able, together you can't use it. That in front of 500 people that he accepted, he said that I'm Prabhin Vadal Gatsiri because of the, you know, people like you all, because you tell me what to do. And I follow this. I have a grammar trainer. <laughs> he said that. And mm -hmm. recently he launched one course, Fearless and Fluent Speaking. Yeah. That's that course that I have also have been a part of that. And in that particular, you know, program that he has launched, one of the trainers is called Sharu Yadav Ma'am. And this is the, she has, she has been training. And next guest after you would be Sharu Yadav, ma'am. And she has been running Delhi Public School, one of the centers, maybe somewhere. Um, so I'm going to join. Maybe she could also tell a lot of things. That means I'm inviting everybody, those who are interested to, to bring a change in this world with yeah. the knowledge that people have. So you are one among them. So a lot of people love your accent, love your way of talking and also information. So a lot of people are appreciating. Ayan, so thank you, all the students who are writing good words and a lot of questions also there. Ayan, let me take another please question. Sure, please go ahead with the question. 
Okay, Urupa is asking that. Urupa, sir, I have a problem. When I think about the lines, I speak my grammar is right. But when I am starting speak, I'm I'm starting speaking. I did lots of grammatical mistakes. So, sir, how can I avoid that? Means, got you. <laughs> So first of all, uh, it's a very interesting question, I would say, right? So here I would like to, you know, share one of my tricks, I would say. Yeah, basically, we need to understand the difference between the practical English and the technical English, okay? So if you understand this concept, it will be very, very easy for you to understand and to remove the, I would say, grammar phobia and something like that. See, understand what will happen. Because initially, when we were a kid, we used to speak in English in a such a way that, uh, like, I, 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 I want to go there and I, I, I want to speak and I, I go with my parents to market something. It was like a tuta puta English, right? It was like very, there was a jerk and absolutely wrong. But kya logo koi chize nahi samaj aati? Of course, if we were talking, hey, like Manuel, I, uh, you know what? Yesterday. I go market with my father and come on bike, okay? So it was nice, uh, nice experience. I'm speaking absolutely wrong. It should be, I went to the market with my father, okay, by bike. But kya manu lapko yi chize nahi samaj me hai. Aap absolutely si isko samaj rahe ho, ki meri feelings kya hai, okay? So the first priority should be to express our real and genuine feeling that we are trying to convey, okay? So that's a different part. So here spoken is absolutely done. Spoken, it means ki the, the thing which you're trying to convey in English that spoken is done. But if you are willing to make yourself an advanced speaker, okay, if you are really willing to enhance your communication skill with regard to the correct grammatical aspects, only then and there, you need to be worried about the grammatical aspects and all. But apart from that, if you know how to deal with the tense, if you know how to deal with the and the voices and uh, the verbs, models, absolutely fine. Don't need to worry about that every single time I need to make and I need to speak, but in a correct formation. No. This is the practical thing. But when it comes to the, I would say, you know, technical thing, the people will tell you just go through the newspaper, they go through the books. So, you know, it's been 15 years of time if we have completed the graduation. But kya kisi bhi vak, kisi bhi time, kisi bhi class in English na hamara saath chhoda? Nahi. If we talk about the application, grammar, passes, for even application that, you know, when we leave lena hota tha, we used to write something like, hello, sir. With due respect, I beg to say that I was suffered from fever. Even the problem was quite different, but we used to I was suffered from fever. Why? Because the teacher had written the first time on the board. So, you know, when we try to copy paste karne koish karte, that is the same thing, that is the technical English. The vocabulary, a lot of grammar rules, but when it comes to the practical English, here we are having in practical English, we need to work upon the eye contact, gestures, voice moderation, pitch, pronunciation, body language, okay, and average amount of grammar. Don't need to go through the advanced technical English, it's going to be quite problematic for you if you are a beginner. But if you're an advanced speaker, of course, you can go ahead with this. You need to work upon that. So, in this respect, that I would like to share something about Orupa. So I know Rupa actually was a student of graduation, is a student of graduation. And she was hesitating to speak earlier because I met one formula, one technique of speaking that I said always that you have to learn with the mistakes. That means start speaking with mistakes in English first. And second step is to speak under the guidance of somebody who knows it. Great. And third step that I said that practice, again, choosing one mentor. With consistency, that would help you to be the master. But so far, I think that Orupa started initially with mistakes. And now she has understood that while she's speaking, that she's making mistakes. Now she's in the second stage. That means she has to rectify. Means first stage is over. Now it is she speaks. And now the problem that she has right now, as she has asked for, is that she's making grammatical mistakes. And I tell you that a lot of my students do not speak just because of, you know, the fear of having grammar mistakes because they want to speak perfect English. Just like our Rahul sir always says that there is no perfection in this world. It's just like a myth. Even my old guru said that, even I also believe in, that when I started my speaking first, I just put an ad on Facebook initially, just a few months ago, that one of the persons actually who 
maybe a reputed person in his own industries, he said that your, your speaking English is not perfect. You should learn. Then, you know, honestly, I said, okay, thank you, sir. But for your information, even I want to tell you that there is no perfection which somebody would define. So I'm very yeah. sorry. Right. If you are perfect, then you could tell that I'm perfect. I would just pay. You could teach us how to be perfect. And after that, no reply comes. That means what? When we go out, that people are ready to you know, criticize rather than appreciating. That's why these students, they are scared of coming out and speak in the public. Because we people are just looking at them, trying to find out the mistakes, one mistakes in, you know, 10 words and making nine words wrong in front of them, though they are correct. So because of that, maybe phobia is there. And Urupa is also victim of the system or the situation. So now a follow up question to you, Ayan. Have you faced situations when you were speaking and people are talking that you are using fake accent, you were showing something or what you were speaking is not something that students should learn. That means any negative comments from the people. And how did you overcome? Yeah, so uh, I would say not uh, one accident. I had so many accidents, I would say, right? Literally. The moment when I started learning, when I started working in a customer care, as a customer care executive in a call center, that was American for. So before joining there, I did not have this accent, okay? But this accent was being imposed that you have to learn how to speak an American accent. So in that particular time, it was quite fake. I started speaking with this accent. It was quite uncomfortable moment for me, of course, for the first time, because wherever we try to do anything for the first time, so it's going to be quite challenging for us to be perfect, right? So there was a working professional. There were some teachers. And in fact, uh, of course, he was my own teacher of my, I would say, college, English department teacher. And he told me that, don't try to be fake, okay? So I think you are trying to speak like an American. I said, really? Okay, my God, that's great, right? Then I started learning and then I started, you know, like uh, watching some videos on YouTube. So there were so very few videos uploaded on YouTube that time. And of course, if you try to find the voice and accent training, you would not be getting that kind of you know, resources from where you can learn this accent or something. And then what I did, I started reading so many books. Okay. And then in that particular time, uh, I started spoken English. Along with the spoken English, I started teaching pronunciation. So it becomes practice sessions for me, right? And then I would say the month passes, the year passes, and then uh, now I'm speaking with such accent. But now the, the same people who were like, uh, you know, humiliating me on that stage, now they appreciate me, right? And they send their students from their college and schools in my institutions in order to get connected with me through online or offline portal. So this happens. So my dear students, I'm telling you what happens, you know, don't try to take or don't try to give the control of your life to somebody else. Because if somebody is telling you that you, you should have this t-shirt on your feet, it means you are trying to have that t-shirt, but according to their mindset. If somebody is telling you that you should do uh, this thing in your life, it means they are trying to control your life as per their demands. What happens? I, I love this beautiful state, a statement. I would say it's been given by Jash Shadi, one of the most motivational speaker. He said, many of us are monkey, but being told to swim inside the water. And many of us, are, I would say fish, but being reinforced to climb on the tree. And many of us are cats, but being told to live, many of us are lion, but being told to live like a cat, something statement. But I literally love it. Literally love it. Because it has very deep meaning itself inside the sentence. So dear learners, whatever you're doing in your life, either you're learning English, either you're trying to do anything in your life, don't try to give the access of your life to anybody else. Because your life, it means your life. And your decision, it should be only your decision. That's it. Thank okay, you. so thank you, Ayan. And um, as a person, actually as a trainer, we have the responsibility to build conf confidence in the mind of the students because 
many people, I would say that most of the people, not most of them, it would be wrong, by the way, that a section of the people are there. Maybe out of 100 people, maybe 10 people are there who are trying to say negative things. And it would be looking like that 90% people are saying something bad about it. So this yeah. particular, you know, thing that we have to break it. At least 90 people are appreciating out of 100. And 10 people are, you know, doing something, you know, nonsense activities, whatever. We do not love it. And because of that, we are ignoring 90% people or 90 people. So that particular message, even I'm also sending to my students. As I told you that somebody said, you were, poor, you were not perfect. I felt a little bad at the time because I got the negative. He could also have said something like you are taking a good initiative, but he did not say something like this. But I learned one thing that people would say whatever they want to say. But if they're concerned with my improvement, that's fine. If you would give me the solutions, just like I don't know something, you are coming here and you are giving the solution. But that person also is not looking like that. He has to speak. That's why he has to, you know, he said something like this. Then I felt, okay, I have to come back again with new video. Then I recorded another video and promotional one. So that helped me to make, you know, 45,000 rupees just in four webinars. I did four webinars, one webinar having three hours. And that was the first, you know, income from online. Actually, I generated having four, four webinars and that helped me to, you know, go with more people. And that video maybe went viral to some extent, maybe two lakhs people watched that video. And that gave me the motivation that even I can teach people from different parts of the country. Then I have some students from Maharashtra also, some students, different students from different, you know, districts of Assam mostly. And I'm teaching them what I know. I'm not teaching something that I do not know. Simply what I'm teaching right now, for example, I know how to speak. I know how to communicate. I know how to talk to the people around the world because I use one application. Are you aware of that? I don't know. Uh, open talk. So yeah. open talk that I used to, uh, and maybe I have spent more than 3,000 minutes there, mm -hmm. find out good people. But it's so pathetic, you know, to you tell must, you that. You I got, like, yeah. Handful of people, right? Yeah, I got very less, less, like. Less. Yeah, yeah. Then I tell you that out of 500 people, I, get, I got only one person who is good for me. <laughs> then I felt that, no, it's not the right thing. That I started purchasing minutes from Ingbata. Ingbata, because I didn't want to waste my you know, time especially. And Ingbata helped me a lot. But gradually the process got getting improved and people started helping me out for free. And today the time has come that you know, people like Pritam Taluk, this is from Australia. He's from Assam, by the way. He has been helping us completely free of cost. And also we have people like Uddha Bhurali, sir. He's a scientist, by the way. He's giving us innovative ideas. And also people like Sharu Madam also recently agreed. And Prabhin Vadalkar sir also knows about it. And he's also offering some courses for our students. That means it is becoming a collective effort for everybody. That means everybody wants, the, everybody should grow. And in this process, if you can be a part of those people who do not have any motivations, who do not have gurus, then it also, you know, makes us something, you know, special that I also feel good. And today also, a lot of students, they would love and they're loving the way that you are teaching because you are busy, they know about it. Your students also are enjoying because, you know, their teacher, you know, is here today giving classes. And I think that the one of the students from Assam also that she's writing in Assamese or he's writing in Assamese, maybe Rahit. Rohit, moi bohut, bohut huki aushu. Means I'm so happy. That means Rohit is a student, maybe yours. Uh, thank you, Rohit, for writing something like this. And also said something like, I'm very happy to being a part of uh, Mr. Ayan sir's community. He teaches us like a friend. Wow, congratulations, Ayan. A lot of army that I can I have seen from your end. So thank you, all the students who are coming from Ions community. And also thank you very much. Those who are watching from my community, Neetu is also here. Roshan Gupta, thank you very much. So a lot of people are here. Okay, I would take another question from another student. Uh okay, Ayan, Parma, Parma Warriors asking, how much group discussion improve our communication skill? That's okay, great. Right. It's a very, very, I would say, genuine question. What happens, you know, group discussion plays a very vital role in order to impose or uh, open a kind of threshold. Because what happens, you know, it doesn't matter how much wisdom and knowledge I am having inside my mind. I listen until I communicate with the next person. Okay, so what happens? If you are having a limited amount of words, talk, sentence, framing, and the grammatical structures, structures which you are having, 
But what will happen if you get into, into the panel of, I would say, the group discussion? So there, you would be having different mindset, different opinion, and different vocabulary patterns, different structures, and different way of speaking as well, okay? So what happens if you're spending so much time being alone inside your room and trying to think, you know, just I would be watching some videos, a lot more videos, and I would be learning. This is the one way of learning. Most of the people prefer, I don't know why, without coming under the right guidance, right support, and right value. But in the second hour, we have some candidates who are really curious to not only to learn, but also to share the thoughts. Because when you open up, not only will you be learning, but also you'll be you know, sharing your knowledge and also you'll be observing the different patterns, the wisdom, knowledge, and a lot more things throughout your conversation. So if you are the one who is really interesting to have a group discussion, do it. It doesn't matter, you need to have like 10 people, four people, no. If you have two people, it's fine. But try to share your knowledge. And what will happen? Every people has different mindset, different aspects of, you know, it's a thinking and giving the opinion. So of course, it's going to be a kind of, you know, complete package for you, right? Because if somebody is selling the course and we say, I will be giving the group discussion, blah, 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 blah. But I would say, if you're having group discussion in a particular moment, at a particular place, you would be getting a lot more things, new vocabulary, new sentence, new pattern, new way of thinking, new, new way of expressing your thoughts. So this would be the bunch of, I would say, a lot more things that you can learn. Mm, absolutely. So I hope you got the answer. So another question that quickly let me take from other people. How can we develop accent uh, Afro Zach? Just okay, Afro, how to develop accent. So basically Afro is what happens you know, in order to develop the accent, we need to have some particular thing inside our mind that which accent do we really uh, want to you know, learn, especially because if you want to go ahead with the American accent, it has different phenomena and criteria. If you want to go ahead with the British accent, it has different aspects of learning. And if you want to go ahead with the neutral accent, of course, it has different variations. Because there are some words which we, which we knowingly or unknowingly pronounce, but we somebody pronounce it, somebody pronounces it in a wrong way, somebody pronounces it in a correct way, like international and international, interview and interview. So what happens if I try to make you understand the concept of American accents? What happens here? We skip the T. Okay, there is a beautiful rule. So what happens if we have T just after the end consonants, we will skip the T. So interview in the British accent, and if you follow the American accent, it becomes interview. International in American accent, it becomes international. So there are some, you know, like a minor rules, very small and you know, beautiful rules, I would say. If you are learning automatically, it will change your complete accent. But apart from that, you need to get habituated of doing your exercises of particular accent because there are some sets of exercises that I recommend my students, my learners in order to get a new kind of accent. Only then and there it's going to be because accent needs a fluctuation of your jaws. If your jaws are flexible, you can roll it 360 degrees in order to pronounce any particular word. Because if you are not familiar with the Sanskrit word, it's going to be very, very difficult for you to pronounce the Sanskrit letter or, or the pronunciation. Okay. And the reason is because your jaws are not flexible and you are not making your jaws in order to, you know, like pronounce any particular word in a correct manner. So it's all about the practice. And of course, as Manuel says, right guidance, right support, right supervision, and it will enhance your complete accent. Yeah, right. So, okay, then so many questions that we have right now. Okay, Tina does, one of, the, one of my students asking something like, so my question is that, when you are trying to master, when you are trying to master a skill, sometimes it happens that even you are trying your best, but we ended up lacking somewhere. So how can we motivate ourselves not to give up? Wow, good question. Very, very genuine question. I would like to appreciate uh, what's, what's her name? And Tina does, Tina. Studying yes. in class okay. nine, maybe. Great, great. So first of all, I, I would say everybody to clap for her. Very genuine question, okay? Because exactly, my students new learners clap for her. Because this kind of questions, you know, will literally, literally germinate a new kind of solution. Okay, what happens? So basically, there will be some time when you're trying to give your best. There will be some moment when you are working really hard, painstakingly around the clock. But after that, you will not be getting that anticipated results. 
But if you are teaching, if you are doing something only for the ask, only for the sake of money, uh, you will get dissatisfied. You will start getting demotivated. What was your ultimate purpose? Was your purpose to convey your message? Are you successful? If you conveyed your message successfully, it means absolutely everything is fine. Was your intention to make people learn something? Did you really make people learn something new in your session? If yes, you are successful. You don't need to be worried about it. But if somebody is doing for the sake of anything, like for money, for fame, or anything at all, if you are doing for the uh, sake of these things, of course, you will be demotivated, not by others, by your own intention, by your own ambition, by your own efforts. Because I am doing a lot of my effort, okay? But what will happen if I don't get any admissions? What will happen if I don't get you know, new learners? If somebody's not paying, if somebody's not paying me, I would be. But my intention, and that's why I provide a lot of free sessions because even you know this is the course of spoken English mastery that I provide globally. But apart from that, there are a lot more things: voice and accent training, corporate training, soft skills. Okay, so people do visit, and people come to me and say, "I want to learn only voice and accent." No, only spoken English must but what I do, I provide a lot more things in order to make not that people satisfy, my thing satisfy because this is something that I literally believe that if they have to me, I will give them so much knowledge that I will satisfy myself and say, yes, brother, I don't need to give them so much knowledge that I have taught them so much knowledge that I have taught them so much knowledge that I have taught them so much that I have taught them so much that will be the ultimate motivation. And there has to be a burning desire. अगर आप कोई चीज पढ़ा रहे हो तो फिर क्यों अगर कोई नया चीज कर रहे हो तो क्यों इफ यूर वाई इज कंप्लीट एंड एवरीथिंग यू आर कीपिंग यूर कीपिंग यूर वाई इन साइड यूर माइंड इट्स कॉन बी सक्सेसफुल थिंग एब्सोल्युटली सो इन दिस रिस्पेक्ट आई ट्राई टू गिव एग्जांपल यू नो नॉर्मली टू माय स्टूडेंट्स दैट they always say that i need to give up so why that you should give up just you think about the day before your examination Yeah. that means you do not study and you did not study but when your exam would be tomorrow that day you think about it how do you, how do you get your motivation and when mm-hmm. you were going to deliver the lecture or the, you you were going to face the interview for a desired job that you would get the job if you pass the interview that how serious that we become at the time that means same mentality <laughs> mindset if you can create in you that you could become successful in not giving up So Ayan, you just brought the very good examples, and also you answered so well. And I think Tina, I hope you got the answer. Next question, quickly, I would just take before that. Nilufo, do you have any questions? So, as we are talking now, you are not getting any space. So, by the way, as a student, you should also be given the space right now. So, Nilufo, any question from your side to Ayan? Oh, sir, it's fine. I'm just uh, loving this conversation, and I'm also. getting to know things and i think people are asking good questions and yeah it will help me as well so i would request sir to do something so i i hope uh, will sir will not mind so sir uh, would you please request our uh, sir to speak something in hindi oh my god that <laughs> okay. do you do you want to request manu to speak something in hindi <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. All the people that just you know run away by the way. <laughs> that means it's so funny question, and also she is putting me in a very danger zone by the way. So I don't what happens that you know we speak Assamese and I'm practicing English. Hindi only I watch movies. I understand everything, but when it comes to speaking, you know that when we do not practice that, you know. <laughs> okay, that that will be very interesting, Mom. Right, of course. So now this question made me excited a lot, and of course I would be forcing you to speak a little bit in Hindi, right? That's very great. Ah, अगर मैं हिंदी स्टार्ट करूँगा तो यू नो पीपल हंसना स्टार्ट कर देगा. By the way, I'm so sorry. By the way, I just said something, but I just tell you that. Actually, my Hindi is so poor that people would just um, laugh at my Hindi, but I need to learn it. because the environment it depends on the environment as we always talk about mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. environment is there we can speak any language accent also plays the same role that means mm-hmm. when people are using one accent that that same accent that people can share that and automatically that could be you know emulated or could be imitated easily so similarly actually in our environment hindi is not spoken in any way but we love watching hindi movies we understand everything 
it's just looking like with english speaking people normally those in our locality or those people who want to speak english they know everything but they do not express because of like a practice so i'm sorry for my hindi by the way and nilo for i will see you i will see you <laughs> so okay then i'm asking another question from another student right now so thank you for creating this humorous moment by the way yes guys just feel free and just go ahead with your questions right okay let me just pick the questions okay uh thank you thank you does really grammar matter in order to be flawless speaker or just need to practice on a daily basis which one is good way to learn this language a froze jack is asking does really grammar matter in order to be a flawless speaker flawless speaker or just need to practice and practice on a daily basis which one is good way to learn this language a froze is asking uh you know the practicing the practicing will help you a lot you know to become really an impeccable speaker but thing is that if you learn to speak with the correct formation what will happen uh if i speak in english for instance i would say like uh, as i gave the example a few minutes ago what's it i uh, i was thinking to learning english uh, uh since two days and something i'm speaking i'm practicing very i'm practicing very hard right uh, i was very curious to learning english and uh, uh, thank you for uh, thank you for invite me i'm speaking i'm practicing very hard but this will happen and second thank you so much for inviting me over here it's going to be great moment for me and of course like at the moment the man will start speaking literally inspire so what i'm speaking also but thing is that you know in one way i'm speaking but in a correct formation and other half i'm speaking but in a right but you know incorrect formation so you can judge automatically by your own mind say that which one is correct correct is the first one but which one would be more inspiring motivating and understood of course the first one jahan pe aap bolte to ho main hamesha apne students ko kehta hu ki sirf kisi ki Uh, किसी का पैर है इसका मतलब बिल्कुल नहीं से चलना आता सिर्फ किसी को जुबान मिला है इसका मतलब ये बिल्कुल नहीं से बोलना आता राइट right? सिमिलरली हमें मालूम है लाइक like, uh, कि बो, हमें बोलना कैसे पर क्या बोलना है कैसे बोलना है किस तरीके से बोलना है कब क्या बोलना है और कब कहा नहीं बोलना है इसे ही तो सीखना है राइट आई होप आई कैप आंसर मिस्टर अफरोज राइट That means I just love the beautiful lines of Hindi, by the way, the way the flawlessly were speaking. And how say that this? How Khomia, me, how do I go with that? So Khomia, do you understand this? Ayan, that means do you understand this? Oh no, of course not. I think no. So how say that? Hundor, what is that? That means Hundor means you spoke in a beautiful way, by the way. The answer. So okay, then I will also speak Asmis so that you don't understand, and that's why maybe you have become English trainer so that. I also would understand. You also would understand because Assamese is not learned by everybody in the world, but English is a language which is accepted globally, and that's why maybe we learn English. So, well, I am now taking another question from another student. Please. A lot of people are just asking questions. By the way, Orupa said, "Thank you." Okay, uh, sir, how to make a humorous story for public speaking championship? Mm, Prabhat okay. Perfect is asking about. how to make humorous story for public speaking championship just quick yes. reply to him what will happen over here i'm just going to share a one thing sabse pehle you know the first of all before i tell you how to create a humorous story uh, let me tell you one thing that you should be following strictly and do not try to create a humor on the basis of caste religion color i would say gender and this and that and apart from that if you are willing to create any kind of humorous speech you can do now the question is how will we do that the basic thing is that if you are trying to make people laugh okay by doing something upon yourself then back should be upon yourself and then and there you can make people absolutely laugh because kisi bhi insaan ko khud pe mazak udana acha nahi lagta lekin agar as a speaker if you are trying to make people laugh just with the intention that you are doing anything and then back is upon yourself it's going to be very very humorous and in order to create a humor 
you can do some tricks, you can do some acts, but that should be unanticipated. Okay, your topic should be unpredictable. If you keep topic predictable, hai, people are not going to laugh, first of all. That should be un, 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 unpredictable. Like, like, wow, man, like we are not expecting something like that. And they will applaud for you, they will laugh, and of course, they will accept you as a speaker, leader, or trainer. Yeah, right. So, Ayan, I hope that you got the answer. So, and I, I, I want to ask you one question. Actually, this question is the copy of somebody. So, you have maybe as a trainer, you have, you know, joined so many occasions. Maybe you have been invited by so many people. Um, so, you have delivered your speeches on English and on any other subjects also. But have you ever thought that you would be invited by me someday? Oh, my God. <laughs> I think... I heard this question in like a Copy Kapil Sharma show. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Of course. No, of course. So I didn't expect that uh, uh, I would be getting some time, right? That uh, you would be inviting me. And of course, you would be getting some time when I will be speaking and I will accept the moment. Be, right? <laughs> but this is the signature question, by the way, used by everybody to... <laughs> to just um, bring humor to the people, by the way. So I think that he is the king of comedy and yeah, yeah, he brings a lot of laughter. And Nilofar also has done the great thing, by the way, asking the very tougher question to bring smiles to us. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, just, I just would like to tell one thing, actually. I had a student, actually. Now she's also here learning from me, Ashmita Raikor. She's from Maharashtra. When she joined, that she followed for many months. And she joined already so many trainers. Then she, you know, asked me questions every day, something like this. And I told everything, but she did not join. After a few months that she told that, sir, I want, I want to join. And then when she wanted to join, I said, she said that, sir, I, you know, joined so many spoken English courses, but I failed. I didn't get, but I think that you would give me everything. But please do not dissatisfy me. <laughs> I felt that okay, no problem. That let me see, but everything was fine. The problem was that you know, with my Hindi, because she she wants to learn English, and when I want to, I wanted to make her understand that I have to take another language that it could be you know English or Hindi. But I'm so weak in Hindi. But at times she had to tell me that she had to tell me that sir, stop, just start speaking in English. That would be fine. Because, you know, my Hindi is so worse that she understands English in a better way. So that also helped me that, okay, if you want to learn, you know, if you want to learn English, so if you start learning in English, it would be much more beneficial than translating things in different languages. It would take time. Because in Ayan, in my place, what happens? People always try to find out the words, English words for Assamese words. You know that so some words in Assamese and other languages, they would not find out in English. So when you go directly on translation mode, there's so many things would be different. Just like, for example, when I go live, when the live would be over on Facebook, you know, something would come in Assamese that uh, means in Assamese, <laughs> the meaning is that Moinul Ali died and he was alive just a few minutes ago, something like this. The message uh, goes something like that. I was no more. You know, <laughs> Moinul Ali died. Something like that message goes when in it was translated. Moinul Ali was live. When the same line translated in Asmis, it would be looking like I died. Means it was a wrong message, by the way, because of the translation system. So I tell my students that stop translating. So I am in this respect. You also have got a lot of students. Uh, so do you face this trouble of being translated? And as a result, people fail to speak in English. And what is and how do you tackle these issues? When you get so many students, they always you know, think that translation is the best way to learn because for our you know, earlier teachers taught in a translation method, especially. That's why we fail to speak. So in this respect, your suggestions for those people who follow translation method in speaking. Okay, great. So here, what I would say is that first of all, I have banned Google Translator in my academy menstruation for my students because I know if I talk about the pronunciation, if I type you know, live on the screen, any particular word, the pronunciation would be absolutely wrong in some cases, right? Pronunciation. So don't try to go always, you know, with the Google translator. But if you talk about, did I feel 
trouble or something? I would say yes. When I would say I have just finished my one batch, the voice and accent training, and students were from Spain. So when I initiated the batch, the voice and accent training, they were, of course, the working profession. It was very difficult and challenging for me in order to communicate because, you know, especially voice and accent training completely, this is the English format. However, there, there was some room where I was supposed to be speaking in a different language, especially in, in their native language. And that was the sp Spanish, I would say. So now, <laughs> you know, I, I had to I would say, translate the first of the few words in Spain, but I got to know the meaning is quite different. I was like, oh my gosh, what will happen? I'm trying to express something different, but this translator says something different. So it's better to stick in English as well. So what I can do, I can normalize my English in a much better way, right? right. Instead of instead of going to the Google, I would say the Google translator is something like over and over again. And of course, uh, it's not sure that uh, all the time Google translator will be translating your every single word in a correct manner. So this is something it was challenging for me, but now the batch is over and I got I got relaxed completely. Now it's enough, right? So now I haven't done my job, and I am not going to have this kind of problem at all. So, yeah, that means it is the problem for everybody. Okay, so uh, this that time that I felt that okay, maybe you know so many applications nowadays available Google Translator and Facebook also translate in this way. So I also send the message to my students that don't do so because human beings are human beings. We understand yeah. the emotions, but machines do not, you know, understand the emotions. What the way that we program accordingly, they would just follow. They would never try to change. We say that, you know, um, sometimes when we are angry, I'll kill you. It doesn't mean that we'll kill you. I'll, I will love you. When parent tells that, you know, we love, we just love you means they would say, I'll kill you. Means when yeah. translator would say something that you are going to die means in reality. So that kind of emotions machines cannot, you know, understand. That's why I tell my students, just believe in the human beings. That's why existence of teachers still prevalent, you know, the relevant and also is very important because some people always try to tell, you know, in some cases that technology is replacing everything. But te technology will never be able to replace human beings because human beings can replace technologies as Jack Ma also believes in that particular yes. line, by the way. Uh, so, well, I will take only five minutes, by the way, Ayan, uh, from your busy schedule. So two, three questions are left, by the way. Then after that, I'll let you go. So let me just take another question from uh, another student, Chenjeev. Thank you very much for joining. Bishal is also here. Um, okay. So Bishal wrote something. Before some time, when I went home, then some people asked me, why you are at 10 spoken English class? Nothing will happen from this. You focus on your study. Why spoken English is important for our life. So Ayan, you have to answer. Before you answer, just let me add two lines. That Bishal, that let me tell you that in our state especially, uh, the syllabus normally, according to the syllabus of Seba, Seba is a board, by the way, because he, you know, that board, that board controls this, uh, the examinations for you know, class 9, 10, and also lower classes sometimes. So what happens is that from class 8, 9, 10 in government schools, there is you know, one topic. The topic is all about listening and speaking. That means for 10 marks, reserved for listening and speaking. But in schools, I'm very sorry to say that I visited with my students to a lot of inst institutions after giving training, because I have to tell you, Ayan, that every year or since 2017, we teach a batch of spoken English completely free. For 2017, we have been doing so. And mm -hmm. this time that we did not get offline batch. So that's why we started, you know, going online. And though we were new, but still we try to learn something and we gave 21 days free life, then 99 days continuous free life that we gave for the students in this platform. And also community from 400 people to 1200 people right now we have. And in this respect, Nilofur has been very instrumental and Onupuma was also there. They, we just three people just contributed to, you know, hit that target of 99 days without missing a single day. It is a record in Assam maybe if somebody would calculate. So all these things, uh, yeah, yeah. So in this respect, I think Nilofur know, Nilo knows in a better way how hard, you know, it is when you fail to go with this uh, consistency. Because if you just miss one day, 
the whole motto would just go away because um, I want to tell you that 99 days went well, but something happened to my life on the very day of 99 days. That was the day actually I would invite somebody, our scientist teacher called mentor Udab Kumar Vorali Sir Padmasri He would come and he would give the lecture and he would appreciate. We thought about it. All things were planned, but what happens that something happened to me that my mobile was seized for interrogation for some issues, by the way. And I, I got stuck somewhere that eight days that I could not come live. And the very day that I felt that it was failure because complete communication was cut off from me. Mm -hmm. Something happened in a way that even my mobile was off completely. I was not in my house, I was somewhere. So at that time, I think Nilofer with Onupoma completed that task. And that they realized the power of student community, just like you have your own community, I have my own community. On that very day, Nilofer, I would actually, you know, I would, sorry for interruption, but first of all, I would clap for Nilafur because, <laughs> okay. yes, guys, I would appreciate everybody, right? Just raise your hand and clap for her because uh, <laughs> the role which she played on behalf of yours, I would say, literally appreciate. She deserves to be appreciated, right? And she deserves lime that, of course, right? Great, great, Nilafur. And what was the uh, next, the second no, no. name? Uh, Onupuma Oza, by the way. Onupuma, right? Onupuma and Nilafur, right? Great guys, right, you're doing right. really amazing work, and wish you all the best for your future. Right, it means a lot, sir. Thank you. And and in this respect, uh, I, I my just two lines that I wanted to add. Why I just said something like this? We are trying to do so so that our students could learn spoken English. And as I told you in syllabus of government school, especially eight, nine, ten, spoken English part is there, but teachers avoid all the time, and students do not know how to speak, but still they get grades A plus A means in government records, everybody can speak good English. But in reality, they fail to speak in English for that we have been working since 2017. Mm -hmm. And the, today, where I see the question of Bishal, that spoken English, when he wants to learn something that people say that you focus on, you know, study, avoiding spoken, spoken English. So in this respect, uh, Bishal, I want to say that spoken English is also important part of your curriculum. You have to learn it without spoken English that you cannot, you know, uh, what I should say, you, you, your career, you'd suffer actually in carrying a good career. So I am not just telling detail about it. I am just go ahead, please tell something about why spoken English is important for Bishal, by the way, because a lot of people try to tell something negative about it. Great. Yes, guys. So what will happen, Bishal, over here is like uh, spoken English and also English, just a language. I would say it's just a tool. Okay, what will happen if you're trying to, you know, what uh, in, in a particular condition, let's try to put it into condition. If your car breaks down in any particular situation, and if you don't know how to use, you have every tool over there, but if you don't know how to use over that, will you be handled the situation, especially? Of course not. So what will happen? Because whatever we are doing in the life, right? Like either we are student working professional employees, like we are running on business, like anything. We need to communicate. And for this communication, we need a language. A language could be anything, but especially when it comes to the India, okay? Her native language could be quite different, like Assami, Jharkhandi, right? Different, different. But we need to have one particular language. With the help of this particular medium, we can communicate, we can communicate our thoughts, emotion, okay? Whatever the whatever thing which is going inside the mind. So it means if you tell, that uh, why spoken English is important, or if you commit that spoken English is not important, it means you're committing that we should not speak, it. we should be like mute, and everything should be going on. Will it be possible without communicating? Of course not. Now, coming back to your question, why English is important, and the reason is English now has become a global language. This is the supreme out medium of communication wherever you go in the world any any country you need a particular specific language so that you can communicate so this is one of the language i would say this is the superior language this will help you a lot in order to communicate wherever you go whatever you do or whatever you want to perform in your life and that was spoken which is really important i believe i gave you the answer um, yes, of course. And also in my place, also a lot of people tell about something negative because they fail to speak English normally. Okay. Exactly. And those sure. people who do not know that always try to complain. 
Exactly. And, right. And I and I have no objection. If somebody knows the mother tongue, it's fine. Everybody has to learn that. Absolutely. absolutely. But learning English is not a crime, by the way. You can learn it. Whether you speak it or not, it doesn't matter. But, but I have seen that those people who are having problems, those people who are not getting any space to express themselves, they're scared of actually, they always try to complain, bringing the mother tongue issue in front of you. They talk about it. If you fail, you even, you know, you are not good in mother tongue. How can you just uh, speak something like in English? They always have some kind of tendencies in our place. But what I say that we have to love mother tongue and we have to learn it. But second thing that we have to learn English, we can't ignore it because now, you know, the world is getting global. So we are living in a global world and we have students from across the globe, just like you said that you have students from Spain. And similarly, I also have students from, for example, different states of the uh, you know, country, it means I have to teach them in English. There is no other, Assamese people do not come here to learn. So that's why that I have to learn Assamese. Apart from that, I have to be good speaker in English also. And today I tell you that my mark sheet does not or have, has not helped me to reach out to you. The words that I have had, that helped us to connect with each other. And your marks is that I do not know. What you did, even I do not know. What I know is that your voice, your voice is your identity. So I want to say that, Vishal, you make your voice your identity and you get the things. And I want to tell one thing simply that when I worked as a lecturer, I was paid 8,000 rupees for one month doing three classes every day for 30 days. But in the month of August, when I learned how to communicate in English, spending, you know, spending nine hours with the help of Onupuma and Nilofa, I could generate 45,000 on the spot, mm -hmm. only spending nine hours. So that is the change of the voice. That is the change just because of the voice. When I start speaking, that is helping me. The money that I fail to generate spending three 30 days but now we are using hours only to earn more than that that is the change so Bishal, just go with that and also we would come up with more detailed answers from ayan and me in the future by the way as this is the first session i hope that most of the answers that i have picked up and rohit saying so i and i think that your student may be rohit rohit is asking that i need to teach english and uh, Rohi to teach me Hindi, by the way. So okay, it's just, you know, I feel so good that it is the collaboration or I should say togetherness, your party and my party, you know, becoming one party today. So this is called the identity. This is called India, by the way. Unity and diversity. So thank you, everybody. Those who are asking so many questions. So we have picked up most of the questions. If any questions left, please write down again so that I would ask you. And finally, Ayan. You have answered most of the questions to all the students and maybe so many questions left. So I want to ask you that someday when you would be free that I invite today so that you could speak on specific things. I would just pick some of the things from the students also so that directly you can answer them. Maybe in the future. This is one thing from you that I would like to have the clarification. Second thing is that you have talked to the students, your community, my community. And for the first time you talk to me, I talk to you. We are friends. We were friends. We know each other on Facebook and also in the community of Rahul, sir. But for the first time that we are talking to each other. So first you tell something about in a summarized way. And after that, Nilupar would say something. And Onupama also is here, by the way. You can say something about Onupama also. She has been very instrumental in the process of completing 99-day free program, by the way. So Onupama, please try to turn your camera on. And it's time for Ayan. Go ahead, please. Okay. So first of all, if I need to summarize all the content in a word, so I would say the program was really amazing and it wouldn't have been successful with the, you know, without the effort of Nilufa, Anupama, and of course, apart from really dedicated students. Because what happens, and I could feel in this episode that you are really trying very hard with your, I would say, an aspirated candidate and you have been painstakingly working so this is my first promise to you that actually, you know, I only provide the corporate training sessions only for my enrolled members. But uh, this is the first time that I'm going to announce. I, If I get time, I would be also giving the soft skills and corporate training pertaining to the voice and exit training for your community. And I will be charging nothing for this. 
Okay. Thank you. I will be charging nothing for this because if I charge, I charge forty five thousand to sixty five thousand only for the one session, especially because I teach this corporate training only for the working professionals for industries and especially for B Tech uh, universities level. But uh, having seen your perseverance, I would say literally it enthralled me a lot. I got bewildered, I would say, right? So this is a promise that if I get time, of course I would do it for your community. Definitely. So thank you very much. It is a huge announcement. I think that Pratham sir would love your way of taking things. By the way, he's also working somewhere in Vodafone company in best in Australian right now, and he has he's from this particular land, but he also started his initiative here quite a few years ago but he had to work outside that's why he has been roaming around the world 25 countries that he has worked and today he is in australia he's also giving us training and all the trainers students that he has been the fan for everybody freedom talik this the next session that i would also engage him together we could have conversation and thank you ayan and onupama is also here by the onupama what do you want to say to ayan uh, good evening, sir. And I am really sorry, first of all. I have my camera off because I am somewhere else, actually. There is lack of, you know, uh, light and all. That's why I'm really sorry about that. And I answer, thank you so much. Uh, first of all, welcome. And uh, I'm really glad to know you. And I was actually on YouTube uh, enjoying the conversation. And when I saw today, Monul sir putting the status, about you coming live and I was really excited and I was looking forward to it and finally yeah uh, we are really lucky to have you and thanks for uh, answering all our questions and yeah the latest announcement that you made uh, it's it's uh, huge actually and we are really lucky to have you and yes looking forward to more interactions to uh, learn uh, with you actually so yeah thank you once again and uh yeah i would like to introduce myself of course i am a student of sad and i am an intern as well with nilofer so we are trying to learn together and grow with the juniors with the seniors with the teachers so yes yeah, so that's that's it great and i would say you guys are you know under the right supervision under the wider umbrella of Mr. Manul Ali. So he's been really a passionate trainer because he has been working especially for the students for free. So literally, and the announcement that I made right here, it just, it would be just a little contribution. Okay. Little contribution for your community guys, because I literally want you to grow and to enhance the communication skill because whatever you're doing in your life, like your student, working professional employees, so this will be just a little contribution that I can do it for you. And I wish you very, very all the best for every learner, for every joinees, mentees of yours, okay? And everybody who are outsider, who joined, who took out their crucial time and joined today's workshop. Great, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for Mandu for inviting me here. And you have been really nice for me. And literally it was so, you know, like an amazing session. So I am just uh, one student is asking, by the way, it would be incomplete, actually, if we have the questions left for him, you know, from the side of him. Prabhat, perfect. Again, last question he's asking for that. Please just answer. He would love it. How to stop overthinking along with that Chandan Singh also asking about how to remove the fear of public speaking. These two questions you try to join together and just answer in a very brief manner so that they would love it. The final. So, okay, great. In this way, what will happen if I give you the answer in order to remove your public speaking fear? So, first of all, you need to understand. Don't try to underestimate your own potential, which you are having. Because what will happen if you try to underestimate your own potential and if you try to, you know, like estimate the someone else's, okay? Like, uh, for instance, public speaking, what will happen over here is public speaking is all about the fear of being insulted or being judged. Apart from that, it's nothing. Right? Because right now, and one more thing is public speaking is not all about that you are invited to speak on the stage, especially. No. If right now I'm doing that's also public speaking. If Nilo, if Nilo Far is trying to convince Anubhava, that is also a public speaking. If a boy is trying to propose a girl and that girl says, Yes, I will marry you, that is also a public speaking. It means so arranging the thoughts in a such a way that people will get convinced throughout your words. That is public speaking. Now, so in this case, you just need to. Uh, accept yourself the way you are. Don't think about what will happen if I give, go wrong. Just go wrong and just think. Just 
डोंट ट्राई टू थिंक दैट व्हाट विल हैपन इफ यू गो ऑन द स्टेज जाओ स्टेज पर देखो क्या हो रहा कुछ तो नहीं हो रहा लाइक like, जहां पे डर लगता है ना अगर आपको लग रहा है कि गलती हो जाए ग्रामर से पहले गलती कर लो और अब देखो लोग क्या बोलेंगे ज्यादा ज्यादा क्या बोलेंगे यार तुम्हें नहीं आता ठीक है सीख लेंगे भाई तुम प्रोनाउंसिएशन पे काम करा ठीक है सीख लेंगे दैट्स इट क्योंकि मेरे पास मैनुअल जैसे इंसान है मेरे पास आयान सा जैसे ट्रेनर है तो फिर काहे का डर भाई राइट right? सो so, सबसे अच्छी बात है कि आपको उस वक्त नहीं डरना है जब आप एक राइट गाइडेंस के अंदर I don't need to fear at all if you and if you are under the right guidance right support under the wider umbrella of a specific community who are really dedicated to inspire people but agar aap kisi ke under mein nahi hai aur aapko lagta hai ki main youtube pe videos dekh kar seekh lunga aisa bilkul nahi hone wala jitne bhi outsiders main bolunga agar aapko ek proper cheez chahiye sare jagah pe ek basket pe sara fruit chahiye just enroll for the course of mr manuel ani and of course you know your i am sir kyunki एक चीज होता है ना कि रास्ता बहुत सारे होते हैं पर जो ट्रेनर्स होते हैं जो टीचर्स होते हैं उनको मालूम है किस रास्ते पे जाना है और किस रास्ते पे नहीं जाना क्या वो कारण होता है जो यूपीएससी हर कोई नहीं निकाल पाता और जो कोचिंग करने के बाद लोग तुरंत निकाल लेते हैं क्योंकि कोचिंग में वो नहीं बताते कि कौन सा पेपर आने वाला है कौन सा क्वेश्चन वो ये बताते कौन सा नहीं पढ़ना है कैडिंग इट सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो इन विच फील आई एम नॉट सपोज टू बी गोइंग and that's why and i coming back to your question the question starts from the public speaking i believe that today you will learn don't try to underestimate your own potential whatever you doing just go and just fake it till you make it this is my golden statement fake it till you make it because what happens a person you know there is somebody someone speaks just because he has to say something but on the other hand some you know somebody speaks just because he has something to say कुछ लोग इसलिए बात करते हैं क्योंकि उनके पास कुछ है बताने को और कुछ लोग इसलिए बात करते हैं कि हर समय कुछ ना कुछ उसे बोलना है सो so, कौन से कैटेगरी में आप आते हो अगर आपको आपके पास कुछ सच में है तो आप बोलने के लिए डिजर्व करोगे एंड यू बी अप्रिशिएट फॉर योर वर्ड्स और पब्लिक स्पीकिंग में आपको यही चीज सिखाई जाती है आई बिलीव आई गेव यू राइट ओके देन सो थैंक यू वेरी मच यू आर ब्रिलियंटली आंसरिंग ऑल द क्वेश्चन एंड स्टूडेंट्स आर एंजॉइंग and it is a success for you know for you by the way because for long many minutes hours that they have been watching still 20 people are watching now it is you know the reach has completely decreased now it is to youtube if you know 9000 followers are there or subscribers are there only 30 people 40 people that normally they are live with the trainers but now that i can see the 20 people still watching means what they are enjoying so urupa is saying that this is one of the best sessions and memorable one so miss ms channel also appreciating appreciating a lot of people are just clapping for you then thank you all those people also you can write it down quickly about the session today how was the session or did you enjoy everybody just quickly fantastic good whatever you want to say okay mr channel said bilkul sahi thank you and finally in just one minute nilafor try to tell something on behalf of the community to ayan because he has given his valuable time as a student your last words for him okay sir so uh, i would like to add something so i have i think i have heard from divas sir in a video that uh, you might speak fluently in english you might be a fluent speaker but at the same time you could be a terrible uh, communicator i think i answer is one of the uh, i think he has one of the best communicators that i have Uh, come across and yeah i just love uh, this session so it was really engaging people uh, are engaging in this and they get engaged and yes i feel so happy and our community is also growing and uh, our students are like energetic and they want to know things and uh, <laughs> they are not ashamed of learning things so yeah uh, this session actually made me energetic and sometimes i feel like yeah i will not do things everything is meaningless but i think this session will help me uh, to do things uh, even more and yes somebody is saying uh, that i think a froze egg that i look like somebody uh, urban fight youtuber something like that so i don't actually watch her videos but i would uh, love to watch that and thank you for your comment so yes thank you sir ओके तो उभय मोर जी छात्र छात्री आज सकते मैं धन्यवाद और विशेषकर जीखी आयन सर स्टूडेंट आज सकते मैं धन्यवाद और विशेषकर 
ইয়াতে রোহিত আছে সচাকে রোহিত ধন্যবাদ কম পাইছো তুমি আই এনসার স্টুডেন্ট বলে ঠিক আছে মোরপ শিকা স্যারপা শিকা আমি লগ লাগি সুন্দরকে আমি আগবাড়ি যাব তো আই এম জাস্ট টকিং এবার দ্যাট অলসো ইউ কুড লার্ন ফ্রম মি ইউ কুড লার্ন ফ্রম আই এনসার টু কেট উইল জাস্ট গ্রো এন্ড হেল্প পিপল আউট টু লার্ন সামথিং নিউ সো থ্যাংক ইউ এভরিবাডি পিপল আর সেইং দ্যাট ফেন্টাস টিক ইউ নো দ্যাট মিনস ওয়ান্ডারফুল এন্ড সো মেনি এডজেকটিভস দ্যার ইউজিং ফর দ্য সেশন টুডে and i am thank you very much for coming here and giving your valuable time and also giving knowledge to the students and in the future that we would meet again so that you could impart some knowledge to the student community and thank you for your announcement by the way and i would love to connect you with pritam sir next because you would also love to see people like you and uh, in this way we could create a new world you know getting together thank you ion thank you everybody it's time to say good night tata bye 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 guys